I'm Brandy, and together we are the Curry Twins. And welcome to our third video. I don't know why I'm looking up three like this, but our third video today is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me uh, while we do our makeup. Yeah. And today we're going to talk about relationships, and, like dating, and this day and age, and like the difficulties, and why we like it, why we don't like it, our experiences. You know, little girl talk. While we do our makeup, and we're starting with a clear canvas, so we have no makeup on, just lashes. And my eyebrows look dumb, but they're really micro shaded, so I have Pretty nothing bougie. on them. I don't have anything on mine. So. Whatever. But but we're, we start with our eyebrows. So yeah, we always start with our I eyebrows. I am using Big Ego. Just something new we picked something up. Something new from Tarte to start my eyebrows. And I'm gonna use um Anastasia Dip Brow. This um, is Big Ego in the color black brown. And mine is Anastasia in the color chocolate. But, um, I mean, I can say the reason why I kind of like this dip brow is basically because it's, it's kind of easy for me to get into it and, like, it's very smooth to work with. I see a lot of, lately, a lot of people have been using, like, pencils. Yeah, I've like seen a lot of girls, or YouTube girls using pencils. Yeah, they're going back to using pencils. And you guys can be free to watch whoever you want to watch in the tutorial. It's not like... You're not watching yeah. the same face, just you know, different actions. Brandy does us the, does like small things a little bit differently than I do, so feel free to watch whoever and see the little tips and tools. But as far as dating goes, um, I honestly think that like, um, honestly, dating is almost non-existent. I feel like now these days. What do you mean, like with social media or? Yeah, like as far as social media goes, I feel like it's it's very hard to date. I feel like it's like people have a menu. I feel like it's going to a restaurant and you have a menu of like Chinese and you got soul food and you got like it's just too many options. Too many options, exactly. I feel like too many options is never a good thing when it comes to dating. Cause I was talking to somebody. Look at that eyebrow, guys. Yes, I was talking to somebody and um. Somebody had said to me, they were just saying like, I talked to my mom and like how my mom is kind of like more old school and our mom is still young. But like, you know how like in areas used to have like certain bad bitches in a certain area. Like, oh, she was the baddest bitch in that area. And that's all you knew it was like 10 bad bitches in a certain area. Now it's like everybody hit one block. It's like all the bad bitches live next door. I feel like it just makes it so much harder. Yeah, people are just too accessible. Social media has made like everyone accessible to each other. Even the untouchables are touchable now. So it's like really finding a genuine connection with somebody is it's hard. hard. I don't even like I'm I don't even know if I know how. Like I feel like nowadays, like most people get on Instagram. I know the last couple of relationships that I've been in, I've met them through Instagram. Yeah. Like no lie. No no lie. The last couple of people I've talked to, I've met through Instagram. Yeah, like, like, it's like, it's a new, like, dating site, which is, it's weird to say, but, like, okay. it's a good and it's a bad thing, don't you think so? Yeah. To conceal my brows, I already conceal concealer. Can't go Brandy wrong with this shit. a little bit faster than me. Yeah, I might use a little bit faster than her, so. Keep up with me, keep up with her, keep up with whoever you want to keep up with. You know, this is the eyebrow that gives me the most problems. I know, girls, don't we all have that one eyebrow that, like. Well, your eyebrows are supposed to be. Sisters, not sisters. Not I know, but this one eyebrow always gives me like girl a little bit of problems. But that's what the concealer do. I don't know. I just feel like dating was so easier when I was younger. Like you can honestly it was so conceal. Easier. It was so much easier. Yeah, it was, it was so easier, easier when I was younger because you can honestly just tell a guy like, hey, I like you, and then he'd be like, yo, I like you too, and y'all dating. Like that's it. Nowadays, I don't know if it's because of the it's type of guys I'm dating on in the industry that it's they're in. You just interrupted me, sorry. I don't know if it's the type of guys I'm dating or the industry that they're in, but it's, you literally, they literally want to talk to you for three years. Like, before y'all even make any type of commitment to each other. That's just way too long. I'm too over that. Or they want to talk to you for two days and just want to get some poop poom from you and then be out. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. It's real difficult. Um, to conceal my brows, I think I'm going to use the Tarte concealer oh. in the shade Tan Sandy. I've been kind of messing with Tarte. It, it's really smooth. I, I feel like I really like Tarte. Yeah, Tarte products are... Tarte is giving me some kind of vibes. For 
to give me a little bit of life. And I don't know about everybody else, but I put it on my hands. And it always ended up getting on my clothes, but I still put it on my hands. I don't know, guys. That's just what I do. That's just how I move. But, yeah. I feel like when you date, I don't know. I haven't really been. And I don't want to say it's a tax bracket thing. Because I've had broke guys treat me better than rich mean? guys. I've had tax rich guys thing treat me. as far as what? It's not a tax bracket thing as far as like if you date a certain type of person they make a certain type of money they're gonna treat you differently like that's not true because broke guys are cheat just as much as rich guys that's how you feel yeah well i feel like that i feel like as far as i mean as far as that goes i don't think that that is i just feel like guys with more money just have um they have uh more selection, I feel like. Well, I feel like as far as the cheating, I feel like they have more opportunity. It's more open room. But I mean, that, but that doesn't matter. Cause like she said, I've dated guys where I've brought their food and I've helped them out a lot. Then I've dated guys where I had to do little to nothing. And I can say it does feel worse when you date a guy that you're doing a lot for and, and he, he cheats, cheats on you. On they compare yeah, it then to a guy who helps you out a lot. I can't say that. It's like, like we just said, it's like you're going to cry at the Honda, you're going to cry in the Rolls Royce. I always will feel bad. I don't want to cry at either Royce. one, to be honest. But, but if I'm I just saying, to, like, yeah. at the end of the day, it, it always feels better to, to, to cry in the Rolls Royce, you know? Spend a little money. And with me, it's not even really a. It's not even really like a. To me, a man's, like, how much money he makes is just to me, I don't think about how much money he makes. I'm thinking about how hard he works to make the money. It's not the money. It's like, damn, he works, this guy is working hustler. super hard because he makes this amount of money, so he got to be working super hard. Like, whether it's an athlete or a person who works a nine to five, like, anybody that's working super hard, it just shows in their lifestyle. I feel like people do what they want to do for you on their level yeah. of what they can do for you. Like, you can't expect a guy... Your boyfriend works at fucking Chick-fil-A or McDonald's to get you a Birkin bag or a Chanel. Like, that's unrealistic. But like, maybe you can get a microcourse. Yeah. Or maybe you can get, like, an auto bag. I, I do mean, you just, you just guys, get, that I... guys just gotta pimp and shop and spoil their girls on their levels. I feel like Instagram makes stuff so unrealistic for relationships now. It makes it hard to be in a relationship. Yeah, very hard. Like, it makes it difficult because people are always comparing. Like, oh, he did this, this, and this for her. But look at his... Look what he does. Like, he's doing, he's spoiling her on his level. And you shouldn't be like that with guys. Like, you know what type of guy you're dating. So if he works at McDonald's, he comes home and he didn't bought you a Michael Kors or a coach bag. He did his damn thing because that's expensive on his level. Like, it's not that's fair. Tax yeah, it's not fair to put guys on a tax bracket that, that they're not on. Like, that's not fair to nobody. I don't think it's even fair when guys are on a certain tax bracket and then you should feel like at the end of the day like you you know who you're dating at the end of the day like you know you know what they're working with so it's like you can't expect unrealistic things from certain people who work in a certain tax bracket you know we love gifts so these are Brady's eyebrows though so. yeah my eyebrows are nice these are mine mine's um, a little more circle arch hers is a little more i have a little more of just the arch in the at the top i don't know yeah whatever but it's working are you doing foundation i'm not doing any foundation sometimes okay, so I this don't is a no foundation. foundation routine like me and brady for the most part have very um clear skin so we can get into a tutorial about that too because we were we were suffering from acne for, yeah. it, it's not the worst thing to do we'll do that in the next in the, the next, next video, video maybe a skincare video skincare so. video no foundation for us today, but we will skip it and go into so, the... I'm just going to put this concealer on. Yeah. And I'm going to use another tar concealer. I usually end up going... I usually end up with a darker shade and I go lighter. I'm going to use this um, Pro Girl Concealer in the color Bond for y'all. The same one I use under my eyebrow. I like to keep stuff pretty neutral. Like, I used to look like... Kind of like a no I just caught myself pulling makeup. my mouth. Yeah, I'm like makeup, no makeup routine. Why do we say that, as girl? She. We just immediately open our mouths when it's like. I can suck. It's a makeup routine. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna pat that in under my eye. 
Yeah, but lately, um, I don't put that many. There that we go. Much, opening my mouth again. Oh shit! I I let you cry. I don't put that much emphasis on dating. I'm more this year. Also, I'm free spirited type. Yeah, like whatever happens, happens. Whoever I come across, I come across. I'm not really putting too many expectations on things. Because I'm a Scorpio and I tend to plan my whole life with somebody in my head after one day. In my head, if I like you, like I, we already head. have kid names. Like I already got the kid name set out. <laughs> or I, I already moved in with you. I already thought in my I head. Know, ladies, am I the only one who like are we the only night, in this? who lay down and like just dream about the life that I want with this one guy, like us going places, us dating. Like, am I the only one like that who just like fantasizes when I lay down? Like, oh my god, god. That's that, but I'm, I'm, I just feel like I'm an extremist with the shit. We could go on one date, and Scorpio. after one date, I'm just like, oh yeah, we're having this many kids, these type of cars I'm gonna drive, I'm putting my clothes on this side of his bed. Like, I, girl. Girl, I think Scorpios are just lovers. Like, we just love love. Because I'm like, fuck the lovers. Love, love. I love love. I'm not ashamed to say that for a fact. But yeah, dating is hard. And with me, it's more of a, like an understanding type of thing. Like, we ain't got, you ain't got to be perfect. You don't have to be like, all on me, texting me all the time. I just love consistency. And I like seeing the people they sh the people that show these things. Don't just tell me something. People can tell you anything. So show me, like, just show me. You guys know what I'm talking about. Show me, stay. Huh? Show me some shit. Show me some shit that ain't nobody show me. Teach me something. Oh, I love a guy that can teach me something. Yeah, I like older guys who are like. Um, Brittany love older guys. Like I like older guys. They just like they're not my shit. They like older guys because they're like seasoned. Like they're not. They don't be. That's not Britney thirsty. Phil. Like, well, I guess they don't be on thirsty. I mean, all guys be kind of thirsty, but like, then sometimes wrong. they don't be on no thirsty, thirsty stuff. All guys are a little thirsty. I just feel like um, guys in general, though, like you really have to find someone who shares the same. I always say this to people who share the same definitions as you. So who, who shares the same definition of loyalty as you? Shares the same definition of friendship and um communication as you everybody's definitions are different and i thought like it's important to ask somebody what do you think about this like what's your idea of loyalty because one person's idea of loyalty is you don't entertain yeah, people stuff, love you don't talk to anybody else you don't you don't you don't entertain anything like we it's just us and one other person idea of loyalty might be like Okay, I mean, like, as long as you're not having sex with anybody else, you're not cheating. So okay. everybody's definition is. And guys, I'm gonna use this light tan and pro girl to highlight to make my highlight a little more brighter over the phone. But yeah, everybody's love language is different. Like, just because a guy don't show him show you he loves you the way you want to doesn't mean he's not showing that he loves you. Like, some people literally show that they love you with physical touch. Some people use their bank account to show you their love you because they don't have that physical touch. They don't know what that is. So they figure like if I give her, if I buy her things, that's me expressing that I love And you. some girls like that that type of love. Yeah. Honestly, like everybody likes a different type of love. That's why you have to make sure like that at the end of the day, you guys are sharing those those definitions. So it's like, so we, so we both know what loyalty is. We both know what commitment is. We both know what communication is. Like, because it's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. So you can't get mad at a guy who thinks loyalty is Oh, you not having sex with nobody else, but you guys have to have reciprocate that energy though. Like his idea of loyalty can't be, oh, you don't talk to or you don't um, entertain any other guys, but I can entertain girls as long as I'm not fucking them. Like that's not okay. Like you, you have to share the same definition so that you can be in unison. Like it's all yeah. about being in unison and like reciprocating energy. Like so it's really big this, about that. Over this highlight, guys, I'm gonna use Max. You already on highlight. I mean, I'm like that. I'm gonna use this Max Studio Fix in the color NC47 just to so go. Did you contour it. already? No, I didn't contour yet. This is what I do. Then it's how Brandy does it. Just a light, just like a light brush. I like everything to look very blended. I don't like stuff to look like. I'm gonna start contouring my face. But yeah, like make sure people share the same definitions with you. Like make sure that at the end of the day, you guys are on the same page. That's important. Wow. And relationships to be on the same page. It's my favorite part of doing makeup too is contouring. 
I'm trying to contour too. Brittany likes to use more wet products to contour. I like palettes. I use the Morphe palette. And I'm using oh, the Morphe contour is palette. It looks like this, this is Makeup Forever HD. It's actually a foundation stick, but I use it as a contouring stick. And it's 178. And I usually mix Blogger and Fabulous for my contour. So we're going to get that popping. It's nothing better than like making your nose look small. I'm still I have a little round puffy nose. Not that I really need to. I have a really strong bone structure. Are you a man? No, I have a vagina. <laughs> I have a vagina. I have a vagina. I have a vagina. But yeah, guys, like it's just really important to like make sure that at the end of the day, we're all just doing what makes us happy. I feel like that's 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 hard in relationships. I feel like relationships aren't, aren't meant to be easy. I feel like it's not meant to be a struggle. I mean, you're not supposed to kill yourself, but at the same time, they're not meant to be like easy when you want in a relationship. Relationships take right. Like if you feel like you forced in a relationship, you need to rethink that relationship. Don't force anything, girl. Don't force a ponytail. Don't force a friendship. Don't, don't force, force your edges. edges. Don't force your edges. Don't force that frontal. Like just stop forcing it. If it's not just going on. Leave it alone. It's that shit ain't sliding on slick. It's not for you. Just uh, go some other shit. <laughs> if it's not sliding on slick, go to some other shit. Cause you, relationship shouldn't be forced at all. Yeah, you I, should feel I, like you want to be here. Honestly, like don't believe in forcing anything, guys. Like why are we forcing anything? Like I'm so like go with the flow type of individual. Like I don't even believe in forcing titles. Like like I see everybody saying like oh. He asked me to be his girlfriend. Like, it's so cute. Like, you don't have to ask me. I'm going to know when, when we together. <laughs> I'm going to know all actions. Like, now, I always say this to people that love is not a noun. Love is a verb. And it's like you have to show people when you love them. You have to show people you're committed to them. You have to show people your loyalty. You just can't say, I love you and... And, and people are just supposed to believe it. Like, it, that's just not that's not the way it works, guys. I'm put a little highlighter on my nails. It doesn't work like that. You have the same to. highlighter I use. Concealer. Light tan. I'm going to go back in and like, bop, bop, um, bop, 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 bop. add a little bit more highlights on my nose. Just like Brandy. But yeah, like, guys, you have to, like, really show people what actions, what you mean. I real big from people showing me their actions. People can say anything. Even words are nice to hear, but actions are feel make better. You, make you feel. Make good. me feel the love. Don't tell me about it. Yeah, make me feel some type of way. Feel and even with me being at 27, like all I know is for a fact that I've just off my day in history alone, like it's very important to one date yourself. Let's talk about that. Date yourself for a minute. Like I went through a really bad relationship in college. I didn't realize how much I didn't know about myself. Until a counselor asked me, like, what do you like to do? And I did not know. She's like, what's your favorite color? Like, what's your favorite book? Like, what do you do in your pastime? I was just, I was like, I didn't know nothing about me. But I can tell you everything about that nigga. What he liked to do, what was his favorite pastime. I knew nothing about myself. Yes. And at that point, I was like, it's time for me. Let me finish. Blush. It's time for me to, to date myself. Okay, you go. For blush, I am going to use... The Saharan Blush Volume 2. It looks like this. I have super pretty products in that. I'm gonna use B. Like that, y'all. It's, it's just important to date yourself. To you have to date yourself. Date yourself. Date yourself, sis. So I'm gonna use my contour powder. To finish contouring my nose, guys. So this is Mac, and it is blunt. I use blunt to use a lot of a lot of contouring things. But yeah, back to dating yourself. Y'all love blush. Even though I love blush, your brandy loves blush. But back to dating yourself, like you have to, you have to learn what you like about yourself. And it is such an issue if you don't if you're if you don't like being around yourself. It says a lot about you and like what you need to fix it within. Like you should be able to be alone and be okay. And if your own company scares you, then that, that says a lot. It's a lot of work to be done. For highlighter, I love Nastasha. Okay. 
I love this highlighter palette. I have this for forever too. But I like to mix them. So I just mix like two together and just go to town. Whenever I'm contouring my nose, guys, I always take it from the top and kind of go down. And our makeup steps are pretty, really easy though. Yeah, they're pretty um, simple. Okay. If you don't like it, I totally understand. Shit. Yeah, to each his own. To each his own. Just telling y'all what the fuck I do. But yeah. But yeah, that's how I feel about dating. That's how I get to know yourself. Know your favorite book. Know your favorite restaurant. Your favorite yeah, you food. need to know before you start dating. You obviously have to be happy with yourself. Because you can't go into a relationship not happy with who you are and expecting, putting that responsibility on somebody else to make you happy. That's that's going to end tragically already. If you're in a relationship and you waiting on that person to make you happy, that's not that's not fair. Like That's it's really not, not fair. fair to nobody. In MAV, guys, MAV is the only place not where fair. two halves equal a whole. That's not true. You heard doing too much with this MAV shit. Um, I just like to talk about math, guys. I have these math tattoos. We'll get into that later. But it's just like, that's not true in regular day, like dating life. Like, two halves don't make a whole in relationships. Like, that's not true. A whole makes a whole in a relationship. Like, you must come already whole to in present. You can't come looking for someone to complete you because you're going to always look for that. You're always going to search for that in somebody. And can no one else make you happy really but you? They can aid to your happiness, but they can't make you happy. So that's why a lot of relationships like have a lot of problems. You're looking for somebody to fulfill something in you that only you can fix and fulfill. Okay, guys. Intellectual Brit one on one. TED Talk. The TED Talk. Girl, whatever. But back to the um, drama. Yeah, back to the drama. I'm using this NYX. That look color looks really good on you. That's why I said it looks pretty. Yeah. It's called Club it Hopper. Pretty. Club Hopper. So I, just so I think I just finished my contour now. I think I'm about to go. I'm, I'm gonna put some to eyeliner too. Highlight. My favorite eyeliner, y'all. I'm not shitting you. My favorite eyeliner is where is it? At? Me personally, I don't like a lot of gold highlights. So here you go. Is like Mac Minnelati and finish. It's, like it's Mark Jacobs. Oh my god, it's so creamy. What is that? Mark Jacobs eyeliner. Like I love a subtle like glowy look like me and Brandy kind of do like subtle like glowy makeup looks like it's never nothing like too intense or something you can't follow along with like for real like very subtle I love this on our this Marc Jacobs eyeliner is everything yeah. I'm gonna put something at the top too but how are you supposed to be doing drugstore using a Marc Jacobs ah uh, yeah I done fucked up this is just the everyday how I do my makeup. Yeah, get fucked up. Get fucked up. I love this. This is new by Marc Jacobs. It's their liquid liner. Can I see your um, Anastasia highlight? And sometimes guys, I mix multiple highlights. Yeah, Baby I girl. Baby girl. Buy your own shit. This breaks. These things break really easily, but they're so cute. But yeah, find your hobby. Get into something you like. Start a new hobby. Have fun with it. I feel like dating in 2020 should be fun. Like, it should be about like adventure and like really getting to know yourself. Like, get to know yourself and date it. Date all as many guys as possible so you can know what you like and don't like. When I say date, it does not mean fuck. It does not mean go have Right, sex. we didn't say go and just be fucked. It's like go out. Go out to eat. Go to a movie. Like, get out. Dating is healthy. Make him take you on a date. Don't yeah, have a date be Netflix and chill. No. I can 100% say I've been on dates. Two kind of dates. I've been on dates where we went out and I've been on dates where I met them at the hotel. Like, just being dead ass honest. And it's just like... When, whenever I go on a date with somebody and we go out them. first, whenever I'll be right back. I go on a date and we go out first, it always just like the chemistry is always better. Because who knows what's going to happen after the date, but I mean, still, like the chemistry just is so much more fire when like you, you're out getting to know people and like I around other people. I have a right here. Um, I moved it over there. It just like it's different. I don't know how to put it. Just different, and it, but it feels so good. Dating is is nice. As of right now, though, I'm personally I'm not dating anybody, but it's nice to have that feeling and to go out and do things like that. I mean, cause right now I feel like I'm still like dating myself. Yeah, and that's okay. I'm getting to know myself, like, cause it's like you have to. 
get to re-know yourself after a relationship. And it's like, I'm at that point now where it's just like, I'm just getting to know me again. Like, what do you like, Brittany? What do you like to eat? What's your favorite food? Like, what's your favorite new movie? Like, what's your hobby? Like, what's your, what, what do you like? Like, what makes you happy? So then when I know, I go in a relationship and take that with me. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to teach people how to love you. And if you don't know how to love yourself, how can you teach somebody else how to love you? So there we go. You got to teach people Ooh, how to love you. this is a good combo. What combo is it, though? I just picked up this Huda Beauty and Board Beating. Y'all, this is the combo for Brandy. Complex. See, Brandy likes a darker lip, but I really don't do dark lips. I don't know me, that me personally, this is it. I stick to more um, this is it. lip gloss and clear pinks and like this is it with this club hopper. This is it. But yeah, dating can be fun. Don't let people let people think that dating is anything wrong with dating. Dating just can be a really fun, enjoyable activity. If it's done in the right way. If it's done in the right way. What can I add to this look? I think I'm gonna add some shiny in my lids. My corner lids. That's gonna make it pop. Pop the I'm just about to outline my lips with this color. What color is this? It's NYX. Are you doing my pepper? Yeah. It looks good on you. I don't wanna do a. Um, Oh, it's gonna go. Where do I get your own shit? Yes, I do. I can't find it. I'm not sure you're gonna have one, but I can't find it. Baby, get your own shit, baby. I have this little, like, chicken pot. You ain't never marking that with no colored ass, um. I always mark it like that. Not with no colored. Give me no, I always mark it like that. And then, guys, I usually just use a nice gloss. So I'm pretty much done. I do use a setting spray. I did not my it out. My NYX is BLG 16. Like this should be one. I do use a setting spray. Where does that my setting spray? This is light. It's so light. Let me go get my setting spray and I'll be right back. You moved a lot this video. It's all good. Um, this is very clear and like cute. I love this color. Mm. Look at that. Satin spray. I used the Morphe's Jeffrey Star. That smells really good. I like my face to feel wet. Okay, bitch, don't drown. Don't drown. And voila, I am done. I don't know, I ain't going. Don't and worry. me personally, like when I um, no, no, no. look what you did. Oh wow, the pants are staying straight up. Me personally, like when I'm wearing shirts with my shoulders out, I always highlight my um, my shoulders and my like neck bone because they kind of make you look like it, it just highlights. It looks really good too. What do we do when you highlight these places? Damn, I just love this stuff on my face. I'm already wearing with you. So yeah. I guess this is our finished look. This is the finished look. It was very simple. Like we did like 15 minutes. Okay. And you can see like Brandy is a little bit more like dramatic, dramatic with her look. And like I'm a little bit more subtle. So it's kind of like you can follow whoever, you know, fit your vibe at the day. Brandy might be more nighttime. It might be more of a daytime look. But here you go. This is what I'm rolling with. This is the finished look. And we just want to say to end this video that thank you for our we have a thousand subscribers guys um we love y'all y'all mess with us we mess with y'all we gotta come up with a name so if y'all think of some names that we can call y'all drop them drop below them that y'all think would be cute for us to call y'all so we could be out here specifically talking our shit to y'all or whatever and um we just want to say yeah. for 2020 as far as relationships go, date yourself. I think that the end, of the, the end, this, the moral of this whole video is date yourself. Do your makeup. Do your makeup. Feel it good. don't matter. Do everything that makes you feel good. Do it could be eight dollar makeup, thirty dollar makeup, hundred dollar makeup. Like do what makes you feel good. Learn about yourself. Get to know yourself. 
and come back to our next video. And we want you guys to like, subscribe, go follow us on Instagram, our Tom page, like and our individual pages, and subscribe yes. to our channel. And we will see you guys again this week in our next video. We love you guys.